Okay, question sure. is, uh, people, there's, he heard something, you talked about God on CBS television, and uh, he's had, he's th thinking about near-death experiences, and he wonders whether these uh, deep mysteries are interesting to you. Okay, so, um, one of the things we know from research in psychology, you would pull the string, like this is, this is an amazing scientific experiment you could be performing. Because uh, if, if a dead person sits up and starts talking to me, oh my god, <laughs> my, my iPhone is coming out, I'm getting chart recorders, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be all up in that. But now an alien, a four-dimensional alien looks at us and says, I got this. Just move it into the fourth dimension. That would be amazing. I think. And we would, like, investigate that. Mm. And we would say, we would say, Whoa! It went into a fourth dimension. And this was captured in the film Monsters, Inc. The kid's bedroom or their closet. And they step through and they're in the kid's closet. And then they scare the kid, because that's their job. They're monsters. Okay? This doorway is a portal through the fourth dimension and then back to the third. If there's a voice coming out of the fourth dimension and makes one of my boxes disappear. I'm thinking it's got more power than I do and more knowledge of the space-time continuum. Our brains can't picture the, what we call a hypercube three-dimensional cubes. What does it even mean? gotta stay with me on this, okay? So it has zero dimensions. A line has one dimension. In a dimensionless voice, yeah, that comes from another, from another place. We got this. And then the box disappears. disappears. Let's go up to a four-dimensional cube. You can invent something that you can't see. All of this is just mysterious. It's shrinking. Oh, now it's a point. Now the whole thing disappeared. Whoops. We evolve in the planes of Africa. Now that circle's just shrinking. There are lines on the side of a square. There are dots on the sides of a, of a line. Follow me. That as much as we think we know, as much as we know we know, as much as the more things that we ultimately learn. For all we know, we could be steeped in the center 
of infinite ignorance. Robert Crowley!